Northern Ireland is quickly becoming a multicultural and diverse place. In this documentary, we will give voice to the range of beliefs that are perhaps lesser known. We will ask them to share their experiences of life in Northern Ireland, focusing on the challenges, hopes and ambitions faced by those of religious and cultural minorities. We are constantly bombarded with talk about religion, but how much do we actually know about the religions existing in our countries, cities, towns and schools? Welcome to Religious Voices. It's a really good question. That's a big question. I'm now 65, so it's not as if atheism is a phase I'm going through. Basically got my parents' beliefs, and if I'd been born into a family of sun worshippers, I'd be busy sun worshipping now, and yet, you know, I go to Mass every single Sunday along with everybody else, and I listen to these annoying, very, very misogynistic, I felt at the time, sermons. I go along with the whole thing, and I don't know if I really believe it. How do I know what I really believe? As a Baha'i, you believe that Baha'u'llah is a manifestation of God for today, but we also accept all the previous world religions. So the way I interact with people is worship. The way I treat other people, if I love them, if I show kindness to them, is worship. So worship to me is 24 hours a day, seven days a week, not something you do once a week. The earth is but one country, and all mankind are its citizens. And really, in everything that the Baha'i community tries to do, that principle and that quotation is really at the center of what we try to do. It's the fourth largest religious group on the planet. It's a group of different religions, different practices that follow the teachings of a guy called Gautama Buddha. He taught to sit quietly, notice what your mind is doing. He called it the path of liberation. So Buddhism is the study of the path of liberation. Hinduism is people who believe in Vedic practices, Vedas, and Ayurvedic teachings and practices. Islam is a religion that acknowledges that there is one creator and tries to live by the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad. Judaism is a monotheistic religion. That's to say, it believes in one God, and the whole ethos of Judaism is what comes to us, is taught to us from the Bible. Our community is mixed with people and same message I'll pass on to all children in the future, our generation, that they should treat as a community as a one, respect each other, ladies and gents, everybody, children, are everybody same. His Holiness the Dalai Lama would talk quite a lot about core values, you know, compassion, love, forgiveness. And when I look at my faith and the way, what I, the way I was brought up, I can't see any difference whatsoever. We just celebrate diversity um, and, and find out about other people's beliefs, other people's backgrounds, other people's worldviews and their family and community experiences because it makes the world and this little place in Northern Ireland a much, much more interesting place. To keep that kind heart, really, um, to try to like keep some warmth and some uh, good feeling towards everybody we meet, everybody we think about. Don't judge people by your stereotype, your preconceived ideas, get to know them as people because there are horrible Muslims and there are horrible Christians and there are horrible atheists and they're also like, far, far outnumbered by the lovely people and it doesn't matter what your label is, what your religion is, um, just get to know each other and that's the best way to, to deal with other people. I respect each other, love each other, no hate or anything, that's my message. The most important thing I've learned was probably not to judge a book by its cover. If you give people a chance to speak, and if you give, like, if you give people a voice, you can learn so much more than you can in like books or anything else. I've enjoyed witnessing different types of prayer and practice. Well, I really liked seeing all the different cultures and beliefs. I really liked the Sikh Gurdwara because it was the first place we went. And it was just so different from any other place I'd been and it was such like a different experience. Probably like getting a proper insight on like, all the different religions and like how they work and seeing that everyone may like think everyone's so different but they're not really. Like stripping it back everyone's quite the same. 